Greetings dear viewers. Today I have a poem which is not related to any chess player, not related to any chess tournament, but this is related uh, to something kind of a fictional story. You can call it as a mini fable. So let me first give you the background. The background is that there is a king and uh, he has just called for a kind of a meeting and who are the members who are expected to come to the meeting? They are these openings. They have to come and they have to defend themselves. They have to talk about themselves. And the way they talk is just a play of the words. By using the same words uh, which is named after them, I have just tried to play with the words and try to come up with something uh, innovative and something which is of course related to the opening. And finally, the openings come, the Spanish, the Italian, the Sicilian, uh, the dragon, they all come, they talk and finally the ending is something which is related to the computer age and the computer era that with the proper preparation it is possible for um, the players to understand more about all the openings and see if there are any unexplored lines and work towards it and try to play it. So let me start without further ado. Let us get into the poem. It was in a forest of branches amidst the vast birches that all the openings met to talk about themselves and impress. The king wanted to hear each one assembled. The openings had to defend why they must be preferred and all else must be deferred. The Spanish was the first to talk proudly after an elegant walk stated with poise I will help you and be loyal with you for a long span-ish. The Italian came forward with pride, stated with dignity, know all my lines and use me, after which you will tell it ain't alien. The Sicilian defense smiled as, it's, as it made its way, with almost a cheeky sway, stated with arrogance, my games will be so sparkling, I am actually sizzling game. The dragon who resided with Sicilian immediately came front with fire-like intensity stated with pride, use me and the game will not drag on. The Petrov soon made it to the stage, little worried by Italian and Spanish came forward and said, I will remain your pet amidst all your wrath. A few were about to make their way. It started raining. The king was shocked after examining, since it was raining silicones. After which the king stated, As long as there are eager learners, all of you are winners. I hope you liked the poem. I hope you understood the poem. Thank you very much for your time.